What's up guys? So right now we are driving to the Diplomat Hotel. Yes! Let's go do that! Yes! Let's go! This is the most haunted hotel in the whole Philippines. And probably the most haunted place in the Philippines. We just rolled out a lot of the equipment. We're gonna start a paranormal investigation now. Can you please give us your name? No, no, no. Legion. Oh, 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 my god, that's, that's the name of a devil. The Diplomat Hotel, located on Dominican Hill, Baguio City in the Philippines, has a rich and varied history that dates back to the early 20th century. The structure was originally built in 1911 as a vacation house for the Dominican Friars and was then known as the Dominican Hill Retreat House. The beautiful panoramic view of the mountainous region made it an ideal location for rest and relaxation. Over time, the building was expanded and eventually became a seminary. During World War II, the property was used as a rest house and sanatorium by the Japanese forces transforming the serene retreat into a place of horror. Stories of brutality and violence tainted its history, as it is believed that numerous individuals were tortured and killed within its walls. In 1973, the property was sold to Tony Agpawa, a faith healer, and was transformed into a 33-room hotel, hence its current name, The Diplomat Hotel, aimed to turn the hotel into a center for healing However, following his death in 1982, the hotel ceased operations and has since been abandoned. Following its abandonment, the place was looted and ransacked. The building also sustained significant damage during the 1990 Luzon earthquake, which its damage can still be seen within its structure. As of 2023, the Diplomat Hotel stands as a popular tourist attraction but its doors have been closed off to the public due to safety concerns. Known not only for its historical significance, but also for numerous ghost stories, such as the lady in black who is said to haunt the halls, a little kid who stays near the fountain eager to play, and an unrest spirit at the top floor from a recent incident. Many paranormal activities have been reported by those who have dared to explore its dilapidated halls and its dark past that still lingers within its walls. This has all contributed to the Diplomat Hotel's reputation as the most haunted place in the Philippines and one of the most haunted places in the world. What's up guys, so right now we are driving to the Diplomat Hotel. This is the most haunted hotel in the whole Philippines. And probably the most haunted place in the Philippines, honestly. Throughout seven years, you guys have been telling me, come to the Diplomat Hotel, go there, do a paranormal investigation. And especially for my Filipino fans out there, you guys have been asking me so many times, and now I can't believe we're finally doing it. And I'm doing it with some of the best people here. You guys have been following the Philippines series. These are the, my friends that I've been doing this with. And I'm so excited here in Baguio and just enjoying the full experience, but yeah, we got three minutes left to go. We're trying to hit the place before the sun sets. And look at this, we're driving through the cliff edges right now. You know, I didn't know Baguio was a mountain city. It's absolutely gorgeous here. It's 10,000 feet, bro. 10,000 feet. I can feel the elevation in my ears. We're here. We're here. Yeah. Wow, that building looks cool too. The Here's coast. the gate. We're getting full permission to get this place locked down and we're going to have this place to ourselves and they're going to open the door to us. So we're going to be able to explore at night. Just the five of us, dude. We're going to close the entire place. Dude, we are so lucky. I can't believe this. Look at this, guys. We are next to the clouds. This is such an incredible view, guys. 
can't believe we're on top of the clouds. I absolutely love Bagyao. And right now it's summertime and it feels like it's spring here. It's not hot at all. So right now we're just waiting for some paperwork to sign. We got full permission to explore the Diplomat Hotel. They have no idea how lucky we are to be able to do this. Shout out to this guy, Zark. I think <laughs> if, go, if it wasn't for him, we definitely would have never had this opportunity to just explore this place on our own. No one is allowed in going inside, but we got a permission from the municipal and we got all the papers. Everything's clean and yep. let's just do the things. The earthquake happened here in 2020. The inside has been closed off ever since then. I'm super happy about this because you know the Diplomat Hotel has always been on my mind for so many years, but I just knew there was too many people, too many visitors coming here, so I just brushed it off. But with this opportunity, I'm so happy to be able to document it properly. Quite awake guys, like I haven't been this excited to explore a place in a very long time. So without further ado guys, let's get on with the adventure. It was currently 9.41 p.m. Look at it. Super, super spooky. And you know, some of the windows have been broken. It's not even from people that came here to vandalize the place. It's actually from the earthquake that happened here, the storms, mother nature itself. We're coming up to the entrance right now. This is really beautiful right here. Before. May nagpakamatay kasi sir dyan sa Micros. 2021 hmm. pandemic, may hmm. nagpakamatay dyan sir sa Micros tumalun. Pero turista din. So, right behind me is a security guard. He's just telling a story that in 2021, there was a visitor here, some tourist, that was all the way up on the rooftop, jumped, and then jumped again down, and then died right there on the exit. And that was because of COVID. You know, people were just so stressed out. It affected their jobs and made them depressed. And besides like the whole story of the people who passed away here during World War II and after the women that were abused, you know, recently there's also been deaths. We're going through the side door entrance. Gosh, guys, so this is how the Diplomat Hotel looks like inside. I can't believe I'm in here right now. It's really creepy. I guess we got some artwork here. Maybe it's, it's like graffiti, but it looks like a, it was probably created here intentionally. I don't think they came here legally to do it. So this is the city of Bagyo right there. What else is in here? Bagyo Christmas story. Oh, what's that? So it says traditionally, Cor de Loren stories are passed down from generation to generation through word of mouth and through tattoos and weavings. Yeah, you guys can pause the screen to read more about it. Did you guys go here? Oh, there's a stairway here in a cool looking room. It's a spiral stairway made of concrete. There's a little batch going around. Anyway, it looks like the door has been closed off, but look at this. There's a chair here. We can probably climb up. All right, I got it. Okay. Yeah. We might have to be careful here. The wood has been brought it away. Well, I'll stay here, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can already see some holes on the floor over there. The thinking is that this place was probably blocked off for a reason. Uh, so I don't really want to go too far away, but you can see how the room looks. Definitely different from all the other rooms we've seen so far. I think this was maybe a ballroom at one point. There's probably like dining tables here or maybe a floor where people could just have fun and dance. I think it's made of marble too. This is the front entrance over here. I love these tiny details on it. Like the wood carvings. Must have been a beautiful door here. Place at one point. I don't think it was a gate. Look at this. This is awesome to see guys. It's a mural. Very traditional. 
Philippine attire from hundreds of years ago in this region. Yeah, the Philippines, you know, back then were tribes. There was many tribes here in the Philippines. It's so cool to see. They it kind of reminds me of like Native Americans. This tribe was known as the Igorot. It's the Igorot tribe here in the region. It's uh, another mural of the Igorot tribe. Looks like they were farmers. And yeah, what's this symbol right here? I don't know. It's an interesting looking symbol. Could be the, the tribe symbol. If you happen to know, leave a comment down below, but I can tell that in the background, it's definitely Bagel. You know, it's a mountain city. There's mountains and trees. Oh, I just noticed too, this is like a huge fireplace. It's just be. Is there any spirits here? Don't be afraid. You can come communicate with me with this device on my hand. My name is Steve. Would you like to communicate? Please touch this device on my hand. We would like to communicate. I guess maybe there's no spirit here. Yo, check this out, guys. It's like a courtyard and there's a fountain. Now, I think I've read somewhere online that this courtyard is one of the most haunted spots in the building. You're not supposed to touch anything here. You're not supposed to touch the water at all because there's been um, experiences with people that touch the water having bad luck or being cursed. I actually might think someone died here when they touched the water. So stay away from it. It looks like something out from the garage. Completely black water, really dirty. But I can imagine just the water has been so gorgeous. Oh, what the hell? Look at this. What is, I feel like this is probably an art installation. I don't think this has been here ever since this building was built. Oh yeah, look, it even has the, the person's tag name right there. Sulo Projects 2019. It was it been for an art show? Almost done here. Check the other side now. Now on the other side, there is also a fountain. I think this one might be actually bigger than the last one. And the water's even darker. By the looks of it, I feel like a fire was here too. You can see some chuck like fire damage a little bit on the walls. And on the fountain, it's like completely black as well. And over here is a room. It looks like they're using it for storage. It was probably for the same art show that they put on here. There's beams everywhere trying to hold the place up. You do not want to get rid of these, otherwise the entire building will collapse. Dude, is that an animatronic right there? Look at that. For real, that's an animatronic. Okay guys, so we pretty much explored everything here on the first floor. We're gonna head up the stairs to the second floor now. Where's the steps to go upstairs? There's a fountain over there. But they say to not touch anything while you explore this place. So I'm not gonna touch an inch of anything. I don't see the stairs, bro. Uh, oh. Is this enough? Uh, no. No? It's cobwebs. Yeah, this will be a tight squeeze. this. All right, let's head up guys. I should have pulled, pulled this out a long time ago, but I'm going to keep it on now. You can tell this place is old because everything is just literally like, just looks like just foundation left behind. It's, it's just a ruin. There's the courtyard we were just at. You can just imagine guys, hundreds of people here, refugees just hiding in these rooms, hoping to stay safe. I pray for their souls. Oh, did that just go off? I think that just lit up, I'm not sure. But I pray for their souls. Definitely when we do the paranormal investigation and when we communicate with the spirits still here, as I'm exploring this place, it just feels like, I feel like a sadness, a deep sadness here still that lingers around. Other than that, I just, I love how it looks too. As a explorer and a guy that loves exploring abandoned places, 
and taking photos of it. It's very aesthetically pleasing. All the rooms are pretty empty. You can see something in here. What could this be? Oh! Dude, it just went off. There's somewhere here. Is there a spirit here with us? What's that? I hear like a whistle. Like a beep sound. What is that? What room is this? I feel like it's not coming from here. Ooh. Whoa. What happened? Like the sound is gone? Yeah, the sound's just gone. Yeah. This room gives me the creeps though. There's so many writings on the walls over here. Maybe they could have dated back hundreds of years ago when the refugees were still here, you know? Maybe they like, carved their names or wrote how they felt or maybe their last messages written on the walls. This kind of looks like it was meant for ironing clothes, but I'm not sure because of the holes on it. Dude, there's the beeping sound again. This is probably the creepiest hallway so far. Okay, look at this hallway, guys. Let's check out this room right here. Oh my gosh, just like some creepy artwork in there. Are these like ancient Filipinos? Is this like, is this, like some of the, like, their attire that they used to wear back in the day? I think so. Yeah. Leave a comment down below if you know. Wow, this is this is really incredible. I really love the sketch they made on the walls here. I think it's to depict the refugees or some of the Filipinos that passed away here. I saw every sketch on the wall here, but I think this one is kind of very emotional for me. It's, uh, you can see it's a mother and her child. You can imagine, like, definitely there was women and with their children trying to survive in here. There's actually words written all over the walls that have kind of faded away over time. There's even some words right here. Grace, love, Kuel. And these are just like prayers written on the walls for people that come visit. Let's check out the other rooms. Oh. Oh, this one is pretty cool too. It's like octopus tentacles. I feel like this room is perhaps a bathroom. You can see there's one attached here too. Look at this. This room is all flooded. This thing must have looked incredible back in the day. So it looks like this corner of the hotel a lot of the rooms have been flooded. There's a lot of water. Oh, it's the courtyard again. Apparently someone hanged themselves in one of these rooms. I think maybe this is a good spot to communicate as well. Definitely, I feel an energy here too. Something that feels very sad. Is anyone here? Oh shit, that just went off. Any spirits here right now? I think there's a symbol right here. I think, I think it was right here where they tied a rope. So let me place this here. Is there any spirits here with us in this room? Is there any spirits here in this room? If you wish to communicate, there's a device here on the floor. Feel free to play around with it and touch it. If you're the person who committed here, am I communicating with the spirit? Oh, oh, sh what the f 
Guys, it's going off. It's going off like crazy. What the hell? I think we'll come back here with the boys when we start the paranormal investigation. It's getting wet here. We've completely explored the second floor. Pretty interesting floor, not gonna lie. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the second floor. But I found the stairs lead to the third floor, guys. Now, I think if I was a refugee or trying to hide away in this building, I would probably want to go all the way upstairs. Oh, wow. This leads to the roof. We'll be able to see the city. Oh. It just beeps. I hope I caught that on camera. Is there any spirits here? Can you make that beep again? If there's any spirits here, I'm just here to document this place. There's a lot of history about this building. I'm just exploring it right now. But later on, you'll be able to communicate with my friends and I when we're done exploring. But as of right now, if you're a spirit, can you touch this thing on my hand and come closer? Oh. Okay, I think we definitely have to like do a paranormal investigation right on the spot later. Wow. I've only been here for about four days now. But gosh, I wish I can stay longer. After this, I think I'm going to be heading back to Manila tomorrow and then I have to catch a flight in four days. I'm not here in the Philippines for that long and I've just been so busy filming every single day and pushing out crazy content. So if you haven't watched the other videos I've done here in the Philippines, definitely watch the playlist right here or after this video, go and watch the previous episodes. I love the temperature too. It's August right now and I'm wearing a Canada Goose jacket. Like, how incredible is that, guys? You've been here how many times? Two times. Yeah, yeah. and how was your experience here? It's for the first time, like, I'm very scared because yeah. we hear some chain and you know, walking oh, on the dang. first floor and second floor. Oh my gosh. But this time, it's... Like, what do you think for, this time? Um, Not so creepy? I'm scared, but yeah. it's the first time that I'm going inside. Right. So... I think a cloud is passing us. Wow. Silent Hill vibes right now. Dude, wow. We just rolled out a lot of the equipment. We're gonna start a paranormal investigation now. We brought everything that we have, our entire arsenal, EMF reader, REM pod, music box, you name it, we got it. Night vision cameras. I'm sure with our equipment, we will definitely be able to communicate more. And you have poem, smash the like button because we are now doing a paranormal investigation in the most haunted place in the Philippines, the Diplomat Hotel. Now we just, now we're just have to introduce our names. Mm -hmm. Uh, my name is Steve. My name is Zark. My name is Adam. My name is Len. My name is Alpha. Also my cameraman right now. Shout others. out to him. Oh, oh. Others. others. Oh. oh. Others. That just went off. Really quick. Do you know where others? From? Oh. Yeah, yeah, maybe they... The others mean harm. Well, we don't mean any harm. Yeah. So I think yeah. there's other spirits here that mean harm. Yeah, yeah, and I think we should tell them Whoa. that. You saw that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should tell them that we don't want to bother them or cause any harm. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Mason. So maybe that's a. I it's think. The Mason. Like a Freemason spirit? Mm -hmm. Or a name, Jessica. 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 Oh my god. Who is Jessica? Who are you the one that we're talking to? 1600s. Oh, 1600s. What does it mean? I don't know. I don't think this place is that old. Yeah, yeah early 1900s. Unless it got got it mixed up and said the wrong thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mar Marjorie. Marjorie. Oh my gosh, like the clouds rolling in now. They're all female, and this place has a dark past for females because they were physically abused and raped here by the Japanese soldiers and the Japanese Japanese secret police force. So, oh gosh. Um, just want to say one thing. 
Feel free to communicate with us besides your name. We're stuck here. Oh. Oh, fuck. Like, stuck here. Oh, fuck. They're stuck I just, here. I just asked, why are you here? Oh, what happened? Did they die? Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, maybe 40 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, but I didn't really use it too much. So that's weird. Hey. Living. No. Did you just drain my camera batteries? That's good though. A lot of the time when they take like energy, it means like they're using it to communicate mm -hmm. with the living. Avoid this area. Avoid this area? This area. Ooh. This area is where you detected this, something, yeah. right? I detected something and right below Ooh. us too is where mm -hmm. the girl hanged herself. Ooh. Avoid this area, freak. Why do we need to avoid this area? We're trying to communicate with you. Joseph. Amazing. Who's Joseph? I don't know. Can, can you check it out? Who's the doctor here? Right, there was a doctor here that um, performed very brutal experiments, right? Mm hmm And he... He operates without anesthesia. So that means like... Many the, died the here, The patients bro. would feel pain mm -hmm. while he's operating on them. That's why many, pe when, many people died that, here. That could be him then. Is this area where... Oh, close. 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 So maybe oh we're on the right track. Like we're it's our connected guess is with the doctor. Yeah, that's why it's telling us to avoid this area. Uh -huh. So did were you a patient here? Did a doctor perform surgery on you without anesthesia? Young. Be young when it happened. Hey, is that what you're trying bro. to say? What? Like, like that? You hear something? Yeah. What do you hear? Like. Right next to you? Yeah. Honestly. Like a chewing sound. Yeah. But it's a little bit... Nothing... Not loud, but... Like that. Dude. Dude, that could be the sound of, like... Someone performing surgery. Mm-hmm. Can... Can you tell us more? Are you the one... That is close to Alpa? Sigh. Why are you sighing? How many spirits were here? It's really quiet. Yeah, bro. He's not speaking. Maybe because of the sigh. It's not only that, but like all our equipment is pretty silent. Mm -hmm. And the past couple days, they've all been going off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to let you know we mean no harm. Like I said in the beginning, we're just here to learn from you guys. Ooh. Fight. Fight. What? Fight. When the Japanese uh, police force yeah. came here, and the refugees, they had to fight. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that, yeah that would make perfect sense. sense. Yeah. It's telling us the history, what happened here. Yeah. What happened after the fight? Or why did you fight? My blood. My blood. Fight. Ooh. No! Army! Ooh. Army! Says army! The Japanese soldiers! Dude, now it's connecting now. He's trying to explain. He yeah. died through a fight. He has many blood. And, it and came he from is from the army. From the army. I don't think he's from the army. Maybe he was a refugee. But like Probably. Ja Japanese soldiers. Probably. Jasper. 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 Oh, maybe he's Jasper. Dude, Jasper, maybe. are you the one we're talking to? I mean, it could be many people here that experience the same thing. Acknowledge. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging us. We acknowledge your presence here. We thank you for sharing the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's Jasper. The mm -hmm. one we were talking mm -hmm. to. That's why. I acknowledge it. We definitely acknowledge your presence. If you want, feel free to play with the other equipment we have. Cabin. 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 Uh, is there a cabin here? Cabin. Does cabin. anyone know of a cabin? I didn't cabin. see any cabin when I was exploring. What happened in the cabin? I don't know why, I feel like he's trying to say closet, like something happened in the closet. Mm -hmm. Interference. Could you give us another description? 
What room do you want us to to go? Ask. Would you like us to go to the second floor? The floor below this? Give us a thing and we will look for that. And we will stay there. Can we go to the second floor right now? Ooh. I'm not playing games. Yo, yo, oh, 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 just went off three times. And went off all the way. It, you got that? I'm not playing games. I'm not playing it, games. It is maybe an answer to my question. What did you like, ask? Like, give me a thing where we can find it. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. That makes sense. And, we're, and she's like, I'm not playing games. So yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes, we're not going to play games as well. We really take this seriously, too. Is there a room you would like to show us here in this building? And can you show us this room? It's getting so foggy. Yeah. Hello, Jasper, you still here? Someone's moving. Did anyone hear that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, sounded yeah, like a yeah, whistle. Yeah. Yeah, right? I hear that. I hear someone like scream. Oh! 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 No. Did you hear someone scream? Yeah. 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 It sounds like a whistle. Bro, it did and sound. We, we just talked about now it. Now that I think about it, it, maybe the whistle sounded like a scream. Because oh. of because of so much painful, it would be like a whistle. He just conf confirmed it. Yeah. It's a scream. Oh! That was a scream. That was a scream. Help me. Help me. Where do you need help? Is there any floor here where you need help? It's like someone was walking here. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's getting a lot colder now. Too. I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. This uh, wind something. Yeah, it's getting the, cold now. Look at all the mist. Yeah. So much mist, guys. Yeah. Let's see what the light. Joy. 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 Could be a name. Or it could be. A feeling? If we help the spirit, it will bring them joy. Right? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing... You are not safe. Oh. Yes. Bro, we are not safe. Yeah, we should pray first. Yeah. It just went red. Yeah, again. I'm buried close I'm by. Dude, that's the furnace, bro. Oh. Where you can set fire. I, okay, I didn't know that was the furnace, honestly. Holy shit. Okay, this is a lot creepier now for me. I didn't know I was sitting right next to a furnace. Someone's walking. Where? You don't here, move. here. Oh, oh shit. You don't move. Yeah. Someone can help me. Us. Oh, oh, we can help, oh, we can help oh, you. Oh. We can help you. After we're done here, we'll pray for any souls here that need help. Maybe ask if we can go downstairs. Yo. Genevieve. Yeah. Maybe it's the name? It's the name. Yeah. What's buried here? Just be careful. Oh man, that's creepy in there. What are you putting in this furnace? If yes, can you touch the REM pod? Dude, something's happening with my, with my light. Bro, he's Dude, turning it's on beeping. and off. Could be draining it, low battery. Yep, I think so. She's dangerous. Dude, this is existing story of them seeing a black lady on the last room on the right side, on the lock, on the locked portion of the building. You remember the door? Oh yeah, the locked it's door. It's locked. Yeah. yeah. Many people see black lady there. 
Like in the room or yeah. around that area? In Inside the room. So just like they said, guys, there are dangerous spirits here. And we believe that it's describing this person that people do encounter. Why are you still here? You can trust us. They're good spirits, bro. Yeah, they protect us. Maybe she's dangerous, do, do. but maybe they're protecting us. Pino protect hanya tayo against subbuying delicado. I, I think we need more confirmation on that because uh -huh. you never know. Evil spirits are deceivers. Yeah. They can lie. Mm -hmm. So we can't really fully trust. Yeah. It's contradicting. Mm. She's dangerous, but you can trust her. That just went off. Yeah. I think that means like yes. I think they agree with what you said. I think there's a spirit here that's good that said she's dangerous, you know. And maybe this bad spirit is saying like, oh, you can trust this, don't worry. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, you said it. Right. We would like to go to the second floor. Can we? Bro, maybe we should even go next to that door where they say they see the lady. Great. 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 Oh, so fuck. it's a confirmation. Oh. Shit. So Should we do it, guys? Th this thing is challenging us. We, if we believe that, because that's contradicting yeah, yeah. that she's dangerous. Yo, oh, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. Bro. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's going crazy. It's going full red, bro. Go, go up. Can we even go up there? Yep, we can. No, 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 no one's going up. Give us. No, no. We can go to the second floor, but no one's going up. Guys, guys, guys. Soldier. Japanese soldiers, American soldiers. Filipino soldiers. Yeah, Filipino soldiers. Different spirits talking to that. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, hard yeah, to yeah, 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 tell yeah. who we're communicating with. Yeah. And whether if it's yeah, a good answer or a bad answer, yeah. or whether Big, to trust it at all. Yeah, because too many names. Too many. We don't know if that name is good or yeah. and also if it's the evil spirit when i ask like can we go to the door it's like happy it's like great yeah come yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, 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 it's yeah, kind of yeah, creepy yeah, 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 yeah. she's preventing us for any kind of uh, actions that yeah, yeah. yeah that might oh dude oh, oh. i think it's a, i don't know that agree or disagree i don't know it just beep the yeah, same time beep. really yeah mm -hmm. same my battery just ran off. I mean, for my IV. IR torch? Yeah, IR torch. Can we go downstairs? I'm asking the good spirit here. Can we go downstairs? The good spirit is the one that is silent. The she scares me. She scares me. She scares me. Bro, I asked, can we go downstairs? She scares me. I think, and I asked for the good spirits to answer. Yeah, that's why it makes bro, sense. Bro, and now she's saying she scares me. Bro. Oh. And dude, I feel oh. like every oh. time that happens, it's like yes, like yes. That's like a yes from the good spirit, right? Yeah. That's what I feel at least. I respect you. She or he is agreeing with what are we saying? Yeah. So, this guy is warning us not to go. It's all up in the air at this point, but. Review. Footage. Review everything. I mean. Maybe I mean, it's exactly what I'm saying. It's like, there's so many answers, it's hard to yeah. tell. And we're just all reviewing yeah, this yeah, whole thing. It. We do want to go to the second floor. At least I do. It said Past. She... Past. Okay. It says she scares me. And then it says, I respect you. I think that means, like, she's scared of this, of whatever's down the second floor, but she respects our decision. So I think we should go down. What the fuck is that? I think we should go down to the second floor. We've been here for a long time already. Mm -hmm. Let's just go down. So another thing, pass. What does it sound like? Like a confirmation. Like, yes, you pass. Like, yeah. Uh, right? Maybe the one you're explaining is past. Like, he, is, he, he agrees that you're right. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm down to go down to the second floor. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm down, I'm down. Look at this fog right here. It's like swallowing up this entire place. Go into eternity. Go into eternity doesn't sound that great, guys. What does that sound like, huh? It 
sounds creepy. It sounds creepy for me. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's just. Oh no, 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 no. Dude, I, I think the second floor is gonna be really scary. No, I think no, so. No, 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 no. But let's no. just do it. And I think the spirit talker just said, "I will get you." All right, guys. So this is the floor where people spot the lady in black, right next to the locked door. I think it's down this way. Take a let's take a little left. Right? Yep. Yeah. So this is where uh, a girl no. hangs herself, right? No. no. Oh sh. Well, that was the room where my EMF was going off. Oh. Okay. I see. Yeah, so this is the room where I got a lot of activity with the EMF reader. It's a small room. Yeah, it happened right here. Next to this symbol. Oh my god, what's this? I don't know. Could mean something. Yeah. But yeah, this is where it happened. Let's see what time it is right now. So it's 1.37 a.m. I can't believe we've been here since like 6 p.m. Wow. We've been here for such a long time. And I think our goal is to try to stay here up until 3 a.m. And right now, I'm kind of getting a headache. I don't know if it's because of this place, but I just haven't really ate that much. I haven't really drank much water. So, yeah, but one more hour to go. I hope you guys have been enjoying this investigation so far. And if you have, don't forget to like and definitely you know, share your thoughts right now, um, especially what just happened upstairs. I'm really curious what can happen here on the second floor, but we're just setting up everything at the moment. I gotta show you this really quick, but the, the locked door is down this hallway, so I think having the music box point this direction is a good idea. This is where people encounter the lady in black right through this door, and it's locked. Yo, that's my way, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm standing right next to the door where the lady in black bro, is. It keeps on ringing, bro, on your side, bro. That definitely can't detect me all the way from here. It's impossible to detect you all the way there. Go, 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 go. Look, guys, see? No way. No way it wasn't detecting me all the way from down there. What? Wait, let me go all the way. Dude! Nope, yep. That's real. That's not me. That's not me. It's detecting something. Yeah. And bro. And we're on the second floor. Guess what's down there? Mm-hmm. The and locked that's the, door. That's the most haunted room here. Yeah. Something is literally standing right there, like three or oh, five feet away. He's gone. She's gone. Can you just can you touch the REM pod? What? what? There, there's something. I heard something like down the hall. Dude, I just told Steve. It stops. It, it stops. stops. It stops. He's, she's here. I hope not. She's here. Because oh. I invited her inside. Oh, 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 oh. Boy. Who's the one playing box. the music box? Oh yes, you keep on passing. Of that spirit. Oh, 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 my oh, 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 yeah. Introduce yourself. Introduce oh. yourself. Okay, I'm Zark Aru. I'm Zark. I'm Adam. I'm Adam. My name is Steve. Yo. My name is Alpha. Yo. My name is Lang. Oh, someone is knocking. Yeah, I heard the knock. Mm -hmm. Can I say that? Yeah. Paranormal. The most important thing is just to not be afraid because they do love that energy. They suck that energy, okay. it feeds them, and it gives them more power. Yeah. So, okay. try our best not so, to be afraid. Hey, nah, hey, bye -bye. I you hear that? I heard that down the hallway. Uh, you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. I made that noise. Quick. You know that we are not afraid of you. Can you please give us your name? Are you the lady in black that people keep seeing? And if you are evil, why are you here? 
what else does it say though? Paranormal, introduce yourself, a bad spirit. Yeah, it said a bad spirit, so it's just one bad spirit. What, what do you want? When I came to play with you. Sit and listen. Sit and listen, yeah. Why are you still playing? I think he's saying like, sit down and listen to the music box. We don't want to listen. How about you listen to us? Come in here. Stop playing with the music box. If there's any good spirits here, can you explain to us what's going on? You heard that? That's a scream. Yeah, it's not like a scream. Legion. Oh, they're the Legion. Oh! That is, oh uh, my god, that's, that's the name like of a, a devil. Yeah, it's the name of a demon. <laughs> I don't believe you. Go move something. If you are Legion. I have already heard your name. In the Bible. Dude, I hear a weird sounds coming from the hallway. I hear these footsteps. Oh. Yo, dude, those, that? yeah. Oh. You're out there, aren't you? How about you come in here? Are you scared of us? You hear that? Mm. I heard that again. Something out there. Dude! We can affect you. I don't think so. But yeah, we're here to respect you. We're not here to harm you. Fort. 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 Well, this kind of was like a fortress, right? Did you kill people here? Leave me alone. We're here, to, we're here to help you, actually. We will leave you alone if you stop playing with the music box. Yep. It stops. Oh, it just okay, stops. we need to leave. It stops. It Let's stops. just leave. Let's respect them. Let's okay. just leave. Alright. Okay, we'll we need to sleep. Oh, After I said that, bro, it stopped. It stopped. Yeah. Dude, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're, we're leaving. leaving. We're, we're leaving. leaving. We're leaving. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think we have maybe less than an hour left until 3 a.m. So we'll just rest up, take a little break. We've been here for such a long time, guys. More than seven hours. Smash that like button for all the hard work we're doing today. Of course, this is the Diplomat Hotel. We gotta go hard, guys. We gotta just complete this mission. Wow. Fresh air. Huge different feeling when you're when you're out of this building. I'm in the car. It's let's see what time it is now. It's 2:38 a.m. We want to go back inside at 3 a.m. I'm gonna just gonna take a nap. I have like a throbbing headache right now, guys. I don't know if it's connected with the paranormal in this place. Uh, lately, I've been getting headaches. Actually, it's not the first day. It's only been here in the Philippines. I don't know why. Maybe because like, you know, I've been busy filming a haunted series and every day is like a busy day, like nonstop filming. And sometimes I get so focused, I forget to eat. That happens a lot to me when I'm focused. And we're, you know, we're up late so many times. Um, so maybe it's affecting my sleeping schedule and just my body and health in general. Uh, I'm gonna take a short nap because that tends to help. So yeah. we'll go back in at 3 a.m. 2.55, five minutes left. Well, a little bit of a nap. We made it, 3 a.m. Let's go. Let's do this. Adam, you ready for 3 a.m.? Yes, sir, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, bro, I'm scared. Oh, shit. I don't want to scare it here, bro. Hey, hey. We're gonna fuck with demons, bro. That's right. <laughs> we the future. Yeah, bro, <laughs> we the future. Anyway, for the 3 a.m. challenge, we're gonna be going all night vision camera for this one. No lights. I don't know if you guys can see this. It says 3.02 a.m. The challenge has commenced. We're gonna go right inside without any lights. I think Zark and I are the only ones with the night vision cameras here. So we're gonna have to lead everyone. Got the gears checked. I'm excited for this, bro. Look at this. Dude, it's pitch dark with the naked eye. I can't see sh yeah. anything. I can see anything also. Just be careful, guys. When I almost just hit this 
Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, hold on to me, guys. Yo, 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 yo. They, they need help. They can't see. Yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hold on tight. Guys. Yeah, wait, hold on, wait. I need, I need to see. There. You guys ready? Yeah. No, no, no. Please don't do that. There's someone on the Come on, boys, we got this, we got no, this. No, no, no. Let's ready our no, equipment. No, no, no. Yeah, let's yeah. set everything up. Why, why? Okay, right here is good. Do, do, do. Mm. Someone's going to. Oh. No, oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Okay. Let's spread more. Can I join you, bro? Oh, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, bro. I'm scared, bro. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. Oh, it's man. very dark. You, bro. Hmm? Hello, I'm Zark. My name is Steve. My name is Adam. My name is Alpha. My name is Lang. And we're here to investigate. I, I know you said like to leave you alone, <laughs> especially the entity upstairs on the second floor. But I'm sure there's still some spirits here that would like to communicate, maybe. Maybe let us know if you would like to still continue on with communicating with us. Dude, they can kill someone who's behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can I, I can kill someone who's like, like right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like a blurry one. Woo! There's five of us. There's five of us. Okay. Okay. Are you talking about us? So. Oh shit. What? What's going on? Are you with us right now? Could you? Oh, sh that went to red. Oh, can you make it go to red to just go tell us that you're here? Oh, that's yes. orange. Can you make it red? Use all of your energy to make it red. What do you know? Yes, my, my, do, 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 oh. what happened to my, they're getting my energy. I just charged it a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, 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 oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, wait, shit, 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 what kind of spirit are you? I can hear something. What? Like what? behind. This is your light? Huh? In case? No, no, no. No, 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 no light. What, what? You touch go. So basically. You catching that? Are you a bad spirit or you're a good spirit? Yo, it's going all the way to red. If you're a good spirit, can you make it red? If you're a bad spirit, can you make it red? Oh! This, can you make it red though, not orange? Oh, oh. Can you touch the red part? If you're here. This one. You can touch oh, it. So, so that means. I think it's an evil Ooh. spirit. What? The red part. Electric shock. Oh! This thing just keeps going know. off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's someone speaking. I can yeah, see. The music box just went off a little bit. The, I can see the music box. So. So, what makes this fountain the most haunted place here? Many people see a ghost of a child here. A ghost of a child? Even when we shoot, when I shoot with Discovery Channel. Yeah? My okay. audio man yeah. saw a kid and oh. she just quickly 
hold my arms and said, tell me, oh, oh no. Message. What's your message? Do you have a message to us or to the people? Yes, this device can send messages. Try playing around with it more. You can speak more words. Here, something like talking. Are you the kid? It's flickering. Badly. Badly? Badly. It wants to badly give us messages, maybe. Can you, can you tell us more? Maybe tell us about your life? Who you are? Why are you here? It's okay to communicate with us. I feel hopeless. Can pray for you? Dude. 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 Oh it's shit. Getting yellow. What makes you feel hopeless? Oh no, it's red. Okay. If it's okay to you, can you beep again? May make it red or yellow? Or if you want us to leave, make it red. Do you do you want us here? No, sir. Oh, fuck. Tarana. Tarana. Doesn't want us here. Tarana. Okay. Is, is there anything we can do before we leave? Amelia. No, just. Amelia. Yeah, she, uh, we can this... pray for Amelia. Is that your name, Amelia? Emily. Oh, shit. I've already heard this name. Huh? I've already heard this name. You've heard this name? Yeah, here. When Seriously? we went here, yeah, so we went here like two months ago, uh -huh. three months ago, yeah, with a psychic, uh -huh. and the psychic just says the 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 child's name is Emily. It says Emilia, and this is where people see like a kid. Yes, right? <clears throat> it's turning red again. Dude, this yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pack up, guys. I'm sorry, I don't know why I feel like so drained right now. Been here for uh, a long I time. Some yeah. some dangers coming. Yeah. Like we should go before they get pissed. Because mm. they they might they can harm us. Actually. Yeah, I feel like we've spent too much time here and yeah, over nine hours guys and it's good. I think like I know if it was a regular person I don't think they would want to talk for nine hours either, so yeah, let's let's just pack up and leave. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. We each made a prayer. You've probably seen a lot of the time in this Philippine city that's great. we always make a prayer. <clears throat> that's because you know we always get answers <clears throat> from spirits that seem like they need help all the time. But that's why we pray. Uh, we also pray for our own safety, and I think it's good to do every time you explore a place like this to always pray before and after because you don't want really any negative attachments to yourself and also just to even help the spirits here that are still stuck in this world, this plane. It's super late, guys. Let's see the time. It's 3.37 a.m. Anyway, I'm very, very grateful to have explored the Diplomat Hotel like this. It's extremely difficult, like I said in the beginning, to get access to this place. So sh shout out to Zark and shout out to Tita. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Honestly, I'm gonna miss this place.
Sling, 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 sling,